I'm Dodie Thompson. I was born in England and came to America with my family. I was very small. I don't remember that really well. I settled in New Jersey and came to California in 47. My mother and I settled in Beverly Hills. She wanted me to have an education there, which was great. And later I was in business and then worked in public relations in the entertainment industry. I was always involved in a lot of volunteer activities and particularly politics. I was a volunteer at the 1960 Democratic Convention and the next day after the convention started was introduced to the man I eventually married the following May. He had just come back from Asia, was a correspondent for the Associated Press, but had made the leap, as he had predicted for himself, to television and had joined NBC News the prior year with, to cover the convention. And as soon as something opened at CBS News, he then, two and a half years later, joined there. We were in LA till 65 when he was posted to Asia, Southeast Asia, for the onset of what was coming, the war in Vietnam. And I was to settle in Hong Kong, but we resettled actually 10 days later in Bangkok, Thailand. I had two children by that time, a daughter and a son, and they loved it there as well. We loved everything about it. Of all the posts we had, it was clearly the one I liked the best. I started a business with beautiful things that I had seen in all my travels and began to go back maybe three, four times a year and bring those things back. And I was selling to the top designers here and around the country for hotel development, for individuals, for collectors, what have you, of Asian antiques and particularly textiles. I found them very, very interesting, but vision is very important and an acute vision is very important. When I would travel to China and to Southeast Asia, I would go to very early morning fairs where flashlight was necessary because it wasn't daylight yet. So you can imagine that I had to see very well in order to pick the right things and not make mistakes. Glaucoma was something I've never really been identified as having it, but clearly I guess I do. My mother had it, so I think I inherited that. And Dr. Barmo came into my life, and it was a number of years ago. I don't remember when exactly. It could have been 10 years, I don't know. Well, I think having your eyes checked is like having your teeth checked. It's just something we do, and it's not something I slough off, because I can't imagine not being able to sit and read the paper and a lot of things that I do with eyes. I met Dr. Varma at USC. He's a glaucoma specialist, and he was one of three doctors I saw in the ophthalmology department. And then subsequently, he was dean of the School of Medicine, and then uh, decided to open his own institute in Hollywood, which is very far for me, but I think I would follow him even farther because his care has been very, very caring, I can say. My regimen is simple. I'm just doing drops twice a day, and one of them is three times a day. And he's watching me very closely, sometimes every month, sometimes every two months, sometimes every three, six, depends on what he sees. That's just the way it is, and that's the way it's going to be, because I trust his judgment and his expertise and his knowledge and he has never disappointed. And if that's the knowledge that I need for my particular situation, then, then I will travel to get it.